So I'm making rose hip syrup. Rose hips are a great, great, great uh, source of vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin A. And they have also anti-inflammatory properties. They're really a great, great plant ally for especially the winter. And since in this part of the world we are entering slowly into the winter time, um, I'm gonna make it. So I foraged um, about one kilo of uh, rose hips and I made already different type of concoctions out of them. Uh, but at the moment I'm using six cups of rose hips that I blend the four first so some recipes they say that you should blend the the rose hips after you've been simmer them uh, with water in a pot but i first blend them so i first crush them a bit with the blender and then put them in the pot with about four and a half cups of water so I had six cups and I put a little bit less uh, amount of water, four and a half uh, cups. So now I'm just simmer them, cooking, cook them very slowly. Here is the rose hips. You see some of them, they, the blender didn't even crush them, but a lot of them are well crushed. And there are a lot of seeds, so later we're going to strain everything, the pulp, the seeds and everything um, that is kind of um, not um, liquid enough. Roasted syrup in the making and uh, it's my first time, uh, I'm kind of like tweaking the recipe. A bit so we'll see if it works so I figured that I want to blend them even more so I, I cook them for like 15 minutes now really slow uh, slow cooking so I didn't put um, bring them on a like a boiling point so now it's really warm I'm gonna blend them for like 30 seconds and we'll see uh, the 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 rose hips that are not crushed will release uh, even more um, of their juice. So we'll see. so as you can see, it's a really kind of like low cooking. Um, the maximum like boiling point uh, for my stove is like nine. So I'm really cooking it very kind of slow at like 2, 3, 2.5 and now it's been cooking I think for in total maybe 15, 20 minutes um, I feel that I want to leave it a bit more like um, 5 more minutes I think and then I'm gonna strain all of this and put it on the pot again and add the sugar all right welcome welcome so i'm gonna strain it rose hip strainings okay. so this is a mixture of rose hip <laughs> mixed in the mixer or not yet yeah as you can see mixed in the mixer sort of. and then poured into this contraption so that's the result it's gonna be this liquid wow it smells really good it's kind of uh, tangy how do you say tangy a bit like the it's a bit sour oh. and citrus the taste I see. this is why we will add later sugar it's pretty warm. 
All right. Good job. Okay, so this is the strained um, liquid. It's really beautiful orange, warm orange. And then what I've I, I've done is the the pulp here. There is still a little bit the pulp that I've been um, squeezing out all the juice from. Uh, I've been putting it again into the pot and added more water because this uh, the rose hips that I had from the beginning they keep uh, having a lot of juice and properties to share so um, I decided to do kind of another round with the same um, amount of plant ally so we are gonna simmer again for about I think 20 minutes 15 minutes we'll see and then we are gonna repeat the process we're gonna strain it and then we'll have two of these beauties. So here's the result. Uh, I have uh, 1.5 liters of this amazing rose hip juice. And I'm gonna add now, I, I catch myself a bit. I'm gonna add, um, seven to ten tablespoons of sugar that I'm not gonna tell you like you decide how many tablespoons you want of sugar because that depends on like how sweet you like the taste and uh, how yeah how yeah on it's on you I'm pretty tired. Um, so this is it. I'm gonna just blend it a bit qui uh, quickly to um, mix it together. And then I'm gonna bottle it. So, oh, I forgot. There, I'm gonna leave it uh, calm down a bit <laughs> and and then I'm just gonna bottle I'm gonna put it in this like old uh, vodka bottle and uh, and then I'm gonna keep it in my fridge and uh, that's about it it's um, I think I made it more difficult in the video it looks a lot more like I'm, I'm talking a lot but uh, it's a very easy process you need equal parts of water uh, and rose hips and then you just need to let it like simmer for a while 20-25 minutes uh, if you want and then you just need to strain it and if you want repeat the process again um, until you have the amount that you like and then you're just gonna add sugar and that's it some people also add um, uh, citric acid I think it's called um, I'm not gonna do it I think I'm pretty uh, pretty satisfied with the, the ingredients that I have and it's a really really good vitamin booster so if you have um, beautiful rose hips bushes around your home go and forage and uh, try this recipe if you like it if you make it until the end of this video because I guess it's pretty long. Thank you for joining me.